Rob, you wanted a performance after last week to back it up, and I think you got that in spades today. Oh yeah, I mean, it was always going to be about the attitude and the commitment we bore at the start of the game, and obviously we had that in spades, and you, you could see that by the way we carried the ball uh, and our defence. You know, our line speed and our collisions are fantastic, and ultimately, you know, that's always going to be what decides the game. You know, the, the actual physical effort you bring that then allows your game plan to drop into place and allows you to score points. And um, I wasn't expecting to have the, the bonus point tries in the bag by half time. But I thought the guys did exceptionally well to create those opportunities and drive them home. And then obviously it was about setting ourselves different challenges in the second half. Now to a whole we met those, a little bit frustrated to concede some points, but they kind of came in ways that they're not the worst ways to concede. So it wasn't through us necessarily being soft or um, us dropping off our, our attitude to defend. So that, that was important. 51 seconds into the game when you get your first try, it's a dream start almost, isn't it? Well, it's one of those things, isn't it? You, don't know what, you never know where it's good or whether it's bad, do you? You never know whether it kind of dents your attitude as to how hard or how easy the game's going to be. But to be fair, it was a good start for us, and, it, and it, we, we followed it up, and that was the important thing. So I've just said to the lads, you know, a thoroughly professional job. We've got the five points. We got all we could out of the game. Um, but now we're going, we're, going to, we're going to hit the reset button pretty quickly because we've got a very, very important month coming up that's ultimately probably going to decide how the season pans out for us. Obviously, Europe now takes a back burner, but as you say, mm. sale on Friday night is a massive encounter now for you. That's right, and, and we've, we're going into it in good form, which you want to. I think that, you know, eight wins on the bounce, you, you know, you want to be winning, you know, you don't, want, you don't want to be losing, you want to be winning and you want to be improving while you're winning. So I think we're getting a lot of things right at the moment. I would say we've got a big challenge next week. Sale are a good side, they've been performing well. Um, obviously, we're going to try and at home in a minute and watch them on, watch them on TV against, uh, against Saracens and uh, we'll prepare very well on Monday. We've got a short turnaround, we'll get up to sale and, and we'll, give it a, we'll give it everything we've got because I think you know, we're looking like an ambitious, enthusiastic side at the moment. As a coach, you must have plenty of headaches at the moment. The, right across this past month, yeah. we've had players that have stepped up to the mark. Yeah, and like you say, good headaches, you know, the kind of headaches you want to have. That um, you know, it's it's going to be a lot of very good players competing for a limited amount of uh, position, especially in some positions. You know, you look across the back row, back five of the scrum in particular. You know, they all seem to be bang on form, all playing very very well. That's going to be a tough selection. We've got a number of backs now up and running. You know, you saw the way that some of the guys play today. You know, I think some some guys have been their best performances today in the back division. So that that's great for us. That's what we want, um, and it's definitely the right time of the year to be on form. You know, people people traditionally say that we tend to drop away a little bit on form this time of year and at the moment we're looking bang on. La Rochelle, they kept going right to the end though and uh, mm. they were worthy of, of some of their points today. Oh definitely, this is the thing, you know, if you ever anticipate teams just not being able to stand in front of you, you're going to get a lot wrong. And I think, you know, I think we got a lot right today. And as I said, our attitude was spot on. We didn't, we didn't expect to get anything easy tonight, which we didn't. Um, and we, we fought for everything. And I think we got every point we got, we fully, thoroughly deserved. That's the last game of uh, 2014 here for the first mm. team. But when you look back on the year, lots of memories for you. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's been fantastic. And, you know, we've had some fantastic crowds and some fantastic uh, performances, not just here, but away. Um, obviously, you know, we've got a big, we've got a big A-League game just after Christmas that we hope to bring a, a big crowd in for against Bath, because that'll be a very important game for our for our A-League team, so there's still a, still a bit of rugby going to be played here at Sandy Park, but as you say, you know, the, the next couple of big games are obviously away for us, away at Sale and away at Bath, and we're going to have to perform very well to get anything, and uh, it's going to be a very interesting Christmas. Finally, the last two games of Europe, I know it's on the back burner yeah. now for the time being, but there'll be two big games in themselves. Yeah, well, I mean, it's shaping up. I, I haven't seen what Connacht's result today is, but it's shaping up, obviously, that our way trip to Connacht's going to be a very, very important game, and then, obviously, Bayon at home, we would we would hope and we would expect to, to do well in, so... Uh, um, as I said, it's going to be interesting because I think you know Connor, Connor will know that the opportunity is there for them probably, uh, and we'll know it's a great opportunity for us. So it's, it's going to be one of those trips that they might be well, well worth making for our supporters.